Hi, I'm Sumir Desai, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to identify alcohols. Most of us aren't strangers to alcohol. While the term originally referred to ethyl alcohol, which some may argue is the most important ingredient of alcoholic beverages, it has since developed into an important functional group because it can be used to synthesize many other compounds. Alcohols are now used more generally in organic chemistry to refer to a carbon bonded to an OH. Alcohols are easily identifiable because it will always be an alkane where at least one hydrogen has been replaced with a hydroxy or hydroxyl group. Keep in mind that the hydroxyl has to be the highest priority functional group for the molecule to be an alcohol. Higher priority functional groups like aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids, just to name a few that will be discussed in subsequent videos, will take priority when naming a molecule. So a molecule like this, with three carbons, and let's say a hydroxyl group here, is an alcohol. But if we add a double bond to our oxygen here, the higher priority carbonyl would now be a ketone rather than an alcohol. Let's use this information to identify molecules that are alcohols. For each of these molecules, let's make sure we meet a couple of the criteria of an alcohol. We'll look out for a couple things. One, look for an alkane with a hydroxyl group. Two, check that there are no higher priority functional groups that are attached. This ensures that the molecule is an alcohol. Let's start with A. This three carbon molecule contains a hydroxyl group. The OH is bonded to a fully substituted carbon with no functional groups, so this must be an alcohol. Moving on to B, there is no hydroxyl group due to the lack of a hydrogen bound to an oxygen. So we know this is not an alcohol. Additionally, the carbonyl makes this a ketone, which is a higher priority functional group compared to an alcohol. C is off to a promising start with an OH, meeting the first criteria. What about the carbon-oxygen double bond though? While there is a hydroxyl group attached to the end of the molecule, the same carbon is also attached to another functional group. Therefore, this is not an alcohol. Let's draw out D before trying to determine if it is an alcohol. We have a central carbon here, bonded to a CH3 on the left, two hydrogens which I'll draw on the bottom and the right, and an OH. This molecule has the hydroxyl group and no other functional groups, so this is an alcohol. Similarly, let's draw out E, a central carbon bonded to a methyl, which I'll draw on the left, a hydrogen, and lastly an oxygen, which must be a double bond to ensure carbon has four bonds. We see a carbonyl, but no hydroxyl, so this is not an alcohol. F has a hydroxyl, so it meets the first criteria. There is a double bond, but alkenes are a lower priority functional group than a hydroxyl, so this is an alcohol. Lastly, G, which looks like an intimidating molecule by its size. The rules are still the same. One, is there a hydroxyl bonded to a carbon? Yes, actually there are multiple OHs here, 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 and here. And two, do we see any higher priority functional groups attached to this molecule? The carbonyl in this position means this molecule is an aldehyde. The higher priority carbonyl also means this is not an alcohol. So there we have it. Determining how to identify alcohols is the first step in understanding the importance of alcohols in organic chemistry. Now you should feel comfortable with this concept. 